Hello friends. Welcome back to Sunday School on Friday. Today is an important day in the church calendar called Good Friday. Why it's called good, there is certainly much, much to be sad about on this day. So when we leave each other tonight, we're going to leave in silence. So we'll begin with the song that we sang last night. This is a story about God's love. So let's walk back a couple of weeks when we talked about God, the creator of all creation. God has created all things good and has created in and with and for love. And God invites us into that relationship with God and with all, create, all creation. And that relationship is marked by love. But we have forgotten what love is. We have gotten lost along the way. And so God has come to us in the person of Jesus to remind us what love tastes like, looks like, smells like, feels like, sounds like. And sometimes we welcome this love as when the people shouted Hosanna. And sometimes we have not welcomed God's kind of love. People were scared about Jesus' kind of love. It was going to turn the world upside down. And Jesus could tell that uh, there was trouble in the air. People were looking to hurt him. So in the night before Jesus, of uh, this night, Jesus took his friends and gathered them and ate with them and gave them a way to remember them and reminded them again that God's love is about service to others. God serves and we are called to do the same. But last night when we left, Jesus was in the garden praying. And those that were scared of Jesus' kind of love came and they arrested him. And Jesus was going to face those who were scared of him and his kind of love. Maybe they even hated him. And so they were going to look to destroy him. So the message of love could also be destroyed. Let's pick up that story right now. Jesus is in Jerusalem, and he must face the people who are scared of him. And the people who are scared of him are very, very powerful. Some of them are leaders in the temple. Some of them are leaders in the government. The leaders do not like Jesus' message, because Jesus' message is going to turn the kind of world they like upside down. They've used their power to serve themselves, to make lots of money. And in the meantime, there are many, many people that they were charged to look after who are becoming poor and sick. And they were not listening to the cries of their people. So Jesus stands before the temple leaders. And the leaders, leaders of the temple ask him, are you the Messiah, the Son of God? And Jesus says, I am. And the temple leaders have finally found the reason they need to take him to Pontius Pilate, one of the rulers of that time in that place of the Roman government. Only Rome could kill people. And they wanted to give Rome a good reason for him to be killed. Pontius Pilate is not so sure if Jesus really needs to die. But, Jesus get, but Pontius Pilate gives in to the demands of the people who are crying, Crucify him! Crucify him! So Jesus was sentenced to die the cruelest form of death that was devised in that day.
People called Jesus a king, and he was a king, but he was a different kind of king. He was a servant king, and now he would be a suffering king. Instead of a golden crown, he was given a crown of thorns. Instead of a throne, he is given a cross. Instead of a rod in his hands, he has nails. Instead of a robe, he hangs naked. This kind of love will bleed. And instead of how to f figuring out how to get revenge on the people who have hurt him so, so deeply, or rejected him or betrayed him, Jesus instead says, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And instead of faking strength, he cries, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Instead of sending others to die in his place, Jesus dies. There is nowhere love won't go, even to death. Love is taken down from the cross that day. Jesus has died. He is laid in the tomb. And a stone is rolled in front. The disciples are hiding behind locked doors. They now are scared for their lives. They are very sad. They are confused. They are alone. They feel alone. Has love been destroyed? My God, my God, have you forsaken us?